Moments ago, our first guest was bestowed with the most prestigious honor available to humankind. He is People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for 2020, whether President Trump accepts his victory or not. Please say hello to Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Good to have you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me back, man. By the way, you look fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you feel more pressure now to look good I now think, that you are the sexiest man alive? I think the expectation now is like it's a little unreasonable. Just, it is. just, just a little bit. But it's a cool, it's a cool title to have. How do you find out? Like, how does the news come to you? Uh, for me, I was in the car. I was driving with one of my boys. Uh, we were going on an errand and a run, and my uh, my publicist and my uh, my manager gives me a call, and you know she. First thing they ask, I'm, they're on speakerphone, you know, who are you with? And I'm like, uh, I'm with uh, Bryce. And he's like, uh, uh, okay, Bryce's family, he can know. I said, oh, okay, cool, because they keep this thing super, super oh, yeah. like, uh, under lock and key. And then they told me the news, and it was like, it was a moment like, oh, really? Like, <laughs> is me? And I was like, like, yeah, you. And then they kind of had this little banter back and forth, but it was a cool moment. I bet it was. Yeah, it was did cool. Bryce immediately start making fun of you, or did he wait? No, he... <laughs> He at least waited till they hung up the phone, and then he immediately started, like, cracking jokes. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. When you get sexiest man, it's like, you know, that's cool to everybody else, but anybody that really knows you, that's just, a, like, a, just another way to, they can give jabs to you. Oh, so, yeah. So, like, they've been, they, they were talking a lot of that's stuff. That's when you wish you had no friends. Exactly. You know? Exactly. It's like, with, with uh, friends like this, why do you need enemies? You don't need enemies when you got friends like this. Now, I know you were excited about this, but I have to say I was also excited about this because I don't know if you remember this, but in January when you were here, okay. back when people were allowed to come see the show... Mm -hmm. You guys are people. This happened. <laughs> Let me tell you, can I tell you something? What's up? So I, all week I say, and you know, coming up on Thursday, Michael B. Jordan will be here. And uh -huh. every time I've said it, all the women in the audience each <laughs> night have, they did that. Yeah. They did that. That's, that's pretty cool. I think you might be the front runner for Sexiest Man Alive this you know, year. Hey, man. So, somebody, uh, somebody write in to somebody. <laughs> I love it. I am so pleased with myself. Did you make some calls for me? <laughs> I feel like I, I didn't just make a call. I feel like I put it out into the universe, and the universe said, yes, that is correct. Thank he is you, man. The that's, how, man. that's how it should be. You throw things out in the universe, and it's going to conspire to make things happen for you. That's my ESP, my extra sexiness perception that I have. Oh, it is. <laughs> Comes in very handy. It is. Actually, this is the only time I've ever used it, but it really worked. <laughs> I'm going to try it again next time. <laughs> so, all right. So now you're the sexiest, and that's it. Nobody's going to challenge it. Do you I mean, wish it was... <laughs> you know, oh, by the way, in the magazine, well, first of all, you know, each year gets a sexy person. And look at that. I happen to be the sexiest person. What year was uh, that? Every... No, no, this is this year. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay I'm okay. the sexiest 53-year-old in the world. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We're sharing that title. You know what I'm saying? I, I like that. But I think even maybe more rewarding for you is look, Michael Jordan is a <laughs> tiny little sexy person, and you're the big sexy person. I'll take that victory. I'm not gonna have too many of those over MJ, so I'm, I'm gonna take that one. You, maybe he will start having to use his middle initial. <laughs> yeah, JJ. <laughs> this is exciting. And so, besides being sexy, are you working on a movie right now? Or are you are you yeah. in quarantine, or what's going on? Uh, quarantine was was definitely uh, you know a time. I'm pretty sure everybody you know experienced it differently, and it was a. Uh, it was tough, but uh, you know, I, I stayed working. I'm, I'm prepping for this movie that I'm doing with, uh, with Denzel Washington. He's directing. Oh, uh, a former so. sexiest man alive. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he Maybe got it, right? future sexiest man alive. Yeah, you know, we're gonna bring him back around. You yeah, know what I'm we're gonna bring him back around. <laughs> you know, but, but he's, he's, he's directing this one. It's called Journal for Jordan, and uh, I'm, I'm a soldier. I'm playing a soldier in this movie, and it's a love story based on this, uh, this, this woman named Dana Kennedy and uh, and and her uh, her relationship with her husband who passed away, and he wrote a journal for his son that, uh, you know, on how, to, on how to be a man, how to treat a woman, how he, uh, really? you know, he, how wow. he met his mother, because he, he was afraid he wasn't going to make it back from, from the war in Afghanistan. So it's a, it's a true story. It's, it's, a, it's very emotional, and, um, and I'm honored to be uh, taking on this character. I bet that's got to be exciting to be as, to playing the character for sure, but yeah. also working with Denzel Washington, it's, I mean, do you ever get over the fact that it's Denzel Washington? Because I have a lot of celebrities that come here, yeah. and I will say... 
over and over again when he's here, I think, oh, yeah, that's Denzel Washington. I mean, you can't really... I mean, it's Denzel, right? So, like, there's a, there's a part of you that's always kind of looking at him like, man, that's like, you know, that's Lonzo from Training Day. Or that's, uh -huh. like, you know, like, that, like that's the guy. Um, and, and he's a mentor and idol, but he's... He doesn't like the praise. He's very much a very, very, very humble guy. You know, he puts his pants on one leg at a time. He'll be the first to tell you. Uh, but every so often, he'll like, you know, he'll speak in these look, uh, not quotes, but uh, you know, um, just, just, uh, just little quotes here and there. And you're like, oh yeah, that's something Denzel would say. You know, like, he'll, like, he'll say something just like, you know. <laughs> The rain only comes down on Tuesday, but on Wednesday, the sun will shine again. And they'll be like, oh, man, that's profound. <laughs> and, and you're just kind of left to try to, like, figure out what exactly that means. But, 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 uh, but hey, no, he's, he's, a, he's a solid guy, man. And, uh, it, it, our relationship has definitely grown a lot over, over the last We week. are going to take a break. When we come back, People Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive, Michael B. Jordan is with me. Yeah. We are here with Michael B. Jordan. We've gone over the sexy stuff repeatedly. Yes. You, um, I, you posted something on Instagram, and I, I have a little bit of a bone to pick. Uh, now, you wanted... The message was good. You told people to vote early, but I feel like you may have stolen this uh, from one of my Instagram posts, <laughs> which was similar. <laughs> you should have seen me shooting that today in my office. I'm laying on the ground. My assistant's sitting here. I've got my shirt off. It was definitely an HR violation. <laughs> well, like, Whoa, are you guys good? Everything's okay in here? <laughs> no, that's funny. Uh, but, you know, I just tried to use my body for good, you know? <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean, right? You know this is going to get attention, so you might as well have some positive thing with exactly. it. Exactly. Especially when you're trying to find, like, organic, or, like, not organic, but, like, uh, just not forced ways to tell people to like to get out and vote and how important it was. So hopefully, you know, it did, did some, I mean, hopefully it worked. It, it seems like maybe it did. Well, I don't know, unless you were voting for Trump. No, I, I, did, <laughs> I did my part. <laughs> you did your I part. Did my part. <laughs> you, and your mustache is still with you. Your mustache at one time was quite a bit thicker even. Yeah, the mustache. Um, it was like was, almost, was oh wow. That's beyond Steve Harvey um, level mustache. It, it, yes, I'm actually, I, I want to challenge him to a mustache. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a, um, I, I never had time to actually sit in one place and grow my facial hair where I didn't have to get it groomed or manicured or anything like that to kind of, you know, do press or, or shoot, a, shoot a character. So during quarantine, I just wanted to see how much hair I could actually grow. Yeah, it's a weird thing you want to know. Yeah, and, and yeah. his name is Murphy. We call him. We call <laughs> oh, you him. named yeah, him. Yeah, his name's Murphy. <laughs> Murph, Murph for short. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got an OnlyFans coming is soon. That a, is that oh, an OnlyFans, OnlyFans account? Wow. So why not? <laughs> Eating fruit, all types of crazy stuff. It's, it's going to get wild. It's going to get you wild. You probably could make like $250,000 a year if your mustache had an OnlyFans account. I'm actually going to start one, but like all the proceeds I want to go towards like a barber school because like during the quarantine, you know, there's been so many like businesses and schools. Oh, that's good. Down. Yeah, barbers have. So we're going to take. We're oh, gonna... you're really going to do that? Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, my, barber, yeah. <laughs> my barber Joe and the whole team, everybody. Yeah, uh... <laughs> We've been plotting on that, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work the system. Do you have a movie that's in the can right now? That is is what's the next one coming out? Uh, it's called uh, Without Remorse. It's a Tom Clancy uh, novel. Wow, really? Uh, yeah. Wow, wow. And, uh, that's a big deal. It is. Yeah. It is, man. I was really excited about it. It's it's pretty much the prequel and the origin story to Rainbow Six. So if you're familiar with that video game, I mean, as a kid, I played it played it a lot. So it was really exciting to take on the role of John Kelly slash John Clark. And, uh, yeah, we shot it in Germany, um, you know, right before um, the pandemic kind of hit. So that was the last thing I did. So we spent all quarantine, you know, figuring out new ways how to edit and post and put that thing together. And we got it done. And uh, it's coming out soon. Um, on Amazon. On Amazon. On Amazon, yep. Did you enjoy Germany? Yeah, Germany was amazing. I've always heard amazing things about uh, Berlin. Specifically because as a kid, I've always wanted to drive on the Autobahn. So, like, that was oh. something Oh, that... did you do it? I had to. Like, I literally, I, I rented a Lamborghini, and... Oh, really? One weekend... Did they know had, why you were renting it when you rented it? I think they know when, like, tourists come or, like, people come from out of town and they rent, like, a real exotic car. I, th I, I think they know. You're like, yeah, and I'll take the insurance on yeah, that. Yeah, 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 the dollar insurance. <laughs> I'm gonna take the dollar insurance on this one. But, uh, but it was really cool. You really understand why they have, like, uh, such low... Um, you know, uh, car accidents, like, in, in, in Germany. Because when you're, like, actually speeding, people will get out of your way. Like, they're, like, they know it. They're very courteous. You know, mm -hmm. they're very courteous when you're driving here. Everybody's all crazy. They're in the passing lane. They're driving slow. It's a little... How messy. fast did you go? 
Uh, 203, I think. I think I maxed out. Miles per hour? Miles per hour. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I think 203 miles per hour. And it's cool because, like, you got other cars, like some, like, you know, station wagon that's, like, all souped up. You know, they're going, like, 140. And then you come by, and then you two are, like, going at it and stuff. So it's... it's Is fun. that when you and Bryce got the call from People Magazine? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't. That was not, me and uh, I that my boy uh, Leo. Me and Leo were out there. Yeah, that was cool. Well, all right. Well, don't drive that fast here in the United States. No. Yes. No, it's a risk out here. This it's is it. People Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive issue comes out Friday. Yeah. Michael B. Jordan. Thanks, Michael. We'll be right back with Allison Bree. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.